Here's a 20 ton condensing unit. Um, a quick story, I mean, we gotta get going on this unit, but a quick story is um, the one of these compressors failed, one of the two, and then a company came out, replaced them under warranty, but of course they charge for labor, refrigerant, all that stuff. And then they said that the TXV inside, one of the TXVs were bad. And then it ran for, I don't know, maybe three months or six months, something like that. They had me come out, check the TXV. The TXV was working. And uh, so I, I left it running. I didn't, um, I told them there was nothing wrong with the TXV. About two months later, one of the compressors failed again. So now they call the company that originally put the compressor in, you know, like eight months ago. They said uh, it's not under warranty because another contractor, which was me, told them the TXV was good and they said you have to replace it. So, okay, so now I'm in the middle of, of, of this whole situation. So you put a new, two new compressors in uh, because they're in tandem, one failed. Uh, there's so many things wrong with this uh, compressor replacement. Uh, the only thing they did do good was change two compressors together since they're in tandem. But um, there's no suction dryer. So you had a burnout on one compressor and they never put a suction dryer. So there's the original braze, the suction line. Here's a coupling, but if there was a, a dryer, there should be another coupling somewhere on this line. There isn't. Here's a liquid line dryer. They do have a liquid line dryer. Probably they put it in when they replaced the compressors. I'll give them that, that credit. But there's a Freon leak on the inside, on the suction line inside. You can see the armor flex is all coming apart. So that's one thing. And then number two, this yellow wire is your Y1. This is a two-stage unit, so you should have Y1 and Y2. But they have Y1 going to Y1 here, and then they have it jumpered from Y1 over to Y2. So it's, you, you can do that, you know. Um, sometimes you jump both together. You want 100% coolant all the time. But here's, here's a big uh, problem. Then you have a jumper wire from the Y1 terminal. In this tape, I don't know, I, didn't, I, I haven't even opened it up yet. It goes to wire 247 and 201, right? 201 looks like it goes to the, it calls the condenser fans. But for sure 247, let's follow it. I don't know if the GoPro could pick this up. Let me try Okay, so 247, if I hold this wire, you see, that's the same wire, right? If you look here, you see the, on the contactor right here, when I pull on this wire, it moves. So they went from the cooling wire Y1 onto the board, but the board is not going to shut off the contactor if any safety open because they have it jump directly a straight shot to this contactor right here and then you got the orange one back here which is also this one you see that this one here is in the same loop so now when this unit goes low on refrigerant those compressors are never going to shut off they're just gonna stay running. Um, and I know it went low on refrigerant because you can see here, it's micro channel coil, you see that? That's an oil stain. It has a leak on this coil. I'll show you. It has a leak on this coil down here. And this coil here, is also leaking right there the only coil that is not leaking is this this one and also there's a freon leak on the inside unit and this uh, 
Now you can't really hear it, but this the bearings on this fan motor are bad. So possibly it was shutting off, raising the head pressure, and that's what may have caused the the Freon leaks. But so we're gonna put a new condenser unit in with cam dryers, pressurize it, fix the leak inside. We're gonna try to leave it pressurized overnight and uh, kind of get the whole unit back up and running. But I gotta gotta I gotta get on the ball here. But you know, just kind of politic issues behind this whole uh condenser change out um so basically by the time they replace that compressor and those coils it's cheaper and easier to, to replace this whole condenser uh whole condensing unit the only thing i don't like about this whole situation is a company did that and then they blame it on somebody else just to get out of their warranty but as you can see so many issues were left here so later i'll show you the leak inside well, I have to find the leak, but I can see there's oil everywhere. So, um, just kind of want to get all this on video. But, all right. All right, so we got the condenser out. We got to clean up. Put everything back in place. All right. Something that I see that's wrong right off the bat is this, this suction line and this suction line, they both tee in here. But the two sensing bulbs are out here on the, where they tee in once they manifold together. So one sensing bulb should be on this circuit. The other one needs to be on this one. So, I mean, that's another thing that could kill the compressor. And you can see here, I don't know if the GoPro picks that up, but it's really oily. The tape, everything was falling apart. So somewhere there's a there's a Freon leak on this reducing fitting. You got a inch and three eighths going over to inch and five eighths. We're gonna try to find this leak. Ugh. Torquing the bolt down to 30 foot pounds of pressure. On these cans. Alright, got the vacuum going. I'm gonna let it vacuum down a little bit more. But we're at 583. wrap this up for the night I'm gonna add some nitrogen to it uh, liquid line suction line suction line it's up there this is our, this is our liquid dryer can that's a suction dryer can ball valve valve it off the moisture indicator was yellow now it's green no moisture in the system We gotta replace this thermostat, but we're gonna run it like this for now. This is a single stage thermostat. We're gonna put a two stage thermostat. Also, I believe this was, this unit is about three or four years old. And, so this is a basic, kind of like cheapy, not, I mean, it's a good thermostat, but it, it's very basic. So what it looks like to me is when they did the construction on this building, uh, this facility just to get the units up and going they slapped the thermostat here on the air handler uh, wall uh, on the cabinet but once the building is is fully painted and finished you're supposed to now run the thermostats where they're supposed to go or something because when i looked on the plans it shows the thermostat out in the hallway but 
I'm gonna look into re relocating this out to the hallway because there is no supply grill in this room. So this unit cools the hallways and some of the rooms. Um, this is an old folks home. Um, so, so it should be out in the hallway or in the conditioned space. This is not really a conditioned uh, space. Um, that unit puts out a little bit of cold there so it's affecting this thermostat. Uh, we went ahead and put the we went ahead and put the sensing bulbs right. So before in the video, you probably remember they're both coming out of that hole. Well, this this sensing bulb here. I don't have my light on me, but there. So this is a suction line coming out of one circuit. This is a suction line from another circuit, and they, they tie into this uh, main pipe, a common suction, and go back out to the unit. So as you saw in the video before, they had them both on the common uh, suction pipe. So obviously that was wrong. So we fixed that. We had to drill a hole here down low so the sensing bulb could come out and reach. The belt is a little loose. You gotta replace the belt. Another thing they had wrong was they had the uh, so this is the the heater kit that's not even connected, but this fire alarm relay, the shutdown relay, they had it killing the blower and the blower only. So whenever they test the alarm, your blower shuts down, but your condenser stays running, um, and. If you have safeties, probably the low pressure switch will shut it down, stuff like that. But the other unit, the control board was bypassed, so it had no safeties. So, you know, when you install a unit, you got to check everything because, especially if you're going to give warranty on your work, make sure you uh, check everything because... You know, don't give warranty and then go there and try to blame something else. Now, if it was something else to cause, then I understand. Um, but if not, don't don't invent something. So as you can see, this unit had uh, multiple issues. Um, just kind of minor things, just, you know, weren't done right. And the company went ahead and put two new compressors in and didn't fix any of this stuff. So when they failed, they blamed me that uh, I told them the TXV was okay. So now we're gonna start it up and see how those TXVs look. And we left the armor flex glue on another job. So I'm gonna have to go to the supply house, get some, cause I wanna paint the armor flex outside. So. All right, so we're gonna start this baby up. get any uh I couldn't get much footage because the um the maintenance guy was here over my shoulder. This is a liquid line goes through out ball valve sight glass into the building. The suction line ball valve into the dryer down 